we wanted to mention something that we hear over and over again in the 15 years since we've been involved with the Camino uh, and experienced this ourselves in 2007, uh, I ended up having to stop my Camino before I got to Santiago because of an overuse injury in my foot from trying to do more than I was able to do. And so we want to mention that you can go at your pace and do what you can do. And if you have a schedule to, to keep, there are ways for you to catch up to whatever that schedule is. Yes. Not everyone has the luxury that we do this time of blocking out two months for a slow Camino. <laughs> and so we, we just want you to know, don't push yourself physically to the point that you have an overuse injury early on and have to, to give up and, and not finish what you set out to do. Yes. Rather, take your time at places like this first section over the Pyrenees, which is so physically tough. Take, take your time there. And if you have to have a recovery day after that or have to catch a bus to uh, a point farther down the, the way to maintain your schedule, that would be preferable than having yes. to give up the entire dream you have of, of walking the Camino.